I go, Dean Farre, people have spoken and they've asked you a, a bunch of questions of things they want to know about you. Um, first of all, I guess, uh, who is the NRL player that you most... Well, I guess you don't fear too many of them, but who's the one that you respect the most? Yeah, um, yeah probably wouldn't say fear, more respect than anything else. Um, probably uh, either Steve Maddow or Jamie Lyon, um, you know, coming through, the, through Manly there as a young player, um, I, you know, really looked up to them. Um, you know, they helped me pretty much through my progress today, so I reckon without them two, um, you know, I wouldn't be the player I am today. So them two, they're two players that I really uh, respect and looked up to. I guess uh, over here in Australia, the commentators have a bit of trouble uh, pronouncing your name. I guess, first of all, can you pronounce it properly for, for us? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, um, you know, they all get it wrong, except the commentators in New Zealand. So it's, um, you know, pronounced whare. So um, you know, I've got to get on to Gus Gould about that at the Panthers and you know, get them on Channel 9 and say it properly. So, you know, I've got a few weird ones out there. But um, I think they, they call me Faro on TV. Um, so yeah, just just for everyone out there, it's, it's funny and um, yeah. Did you have to straighten Gus Gould out on his pronunciation? <laughs> yeah, I told him a few times. Uh, I think he's just slowly getting the hang of it. Uh, you know, at school I, I was called Ware and Fare and even Vare sometimes. So um, yeah. Uh, who did you look up to when you were a kid? You know, who was your role model that you wanted to take after? Yeah, my um, you know, my role model is a probably as a person and and everything I learned from was my uh, my grandmother um, you know she taught me everything um, you know I, I was brought up by my grandparents and um, you know she was a strong lady and everything I you know believed in and, and go for was, was, was pretty much from her so she's someone that you know that you know pretty much molded me to a person I am today um, also saying that my my family is, is probably massive it's a big part of my um, my upbringing and you know how I perform these days so um, definitely my family I look up to. Um, getting back to the, the Kiwis, I guess, uh, who is the fastest guy in the Kiwis team? Yeah, that's a bit of a debatable question at the moment. Uh, you know, everyone will say Sean Johnson or Roger Tuovasa, but um, yeah, I'm pretty close up there, I would say. But um, no, nah, probably Sean Johnson. Uh, you know, he's lightning on the field and you know, I've seen him chase a few people down and you know, a few line breaks and he's... Um, yeah, he's deceptively quick. You going to get a chance to uh, test out that theory this week? Yeah, I'm going to give him a race, you know, training tomorrow or Thursday, and uh, we'll see how we go. We might have to catch you there <laughs> on, on video, I think. Uh, got an interesting question here. Who's your man crush in the Kiwis team? Oh, yeah, there's, there's a few man crushes in this, in this team. So, um, you yeah, know, probably um, my man crush, probably probably Roger. Um, he's a... He's, um, it uh, makes me jealous the way he can, you know, step off with both feet and you know beat the, the players like that. So uh, uh, watch, I watch watch him all the time, and you know he's a little pretty boy. So uh, probably Roger. <laughs> and uh, final question. Uh, this is a this is another tricky one. If you're in a two-man raft and you um, you see your Sean Johnson or Kieran Foran floating around in the water, which one of them do you save? Oh yeah, that's a, that's a, also a tough question. That one. Um, you know, Shawnee and Posa had their attributes. Um, you know, if I had to say one of them is probably Kieran Foran. Um, you know, Shawnee knows he takes too long to do anything, and um, you know, I think I want a big, big strong half of me instead of uh, old princess. So uh, yeah, definitely Kieran Foran. Awesome. You might you might uh, suffer for that in practice tomorrow. <laughs> He's not going to pass me the ball anymore. But, <laughs> no, he knows. Hey, thanks for your time, mate, and good luck for the rest of the week. Thanks, mate.